Okay, so this video is about how I enabled uh, nested virtualization in my uh, in my uh, virtual machine on Hyper-V. So on my uh, excellent Dell T7910 computer, I have a Windows 10. And then on that Windows 10, I have a Hyper-V manager. And then I created a NVMe uh, virtual machine. And uh, what is um, important, important that uh, this is my virtual machine I am running. So for now, let's just uh, uh, switch it off, power it off. The reason it should be powered off is that shut down okay so now my uh, virtual machine uh, was uh, powered off and then this is the time when you can enable uh, nested virtualization and this is actually the command that uh, you uh, should and can execute and set VM processor dash VM name and that is NVMe VM1 so this is my virtual machine and then dash expose virtualization extensions true so this way this virtual machine when it is running it enables uh, nested virtualization why it is important it is important because when you want to use docker within uh, this virtual machine docker desktop it uses uh, again hyper v manager so that's why this is that important so for docker running within a virtual machine is absolutely possible but on the outside virtual machine you have to uh, enable um, nested uh, virtualization so after uh, this is enabled uh, you can start your um, virtual machine my virtual machine within my windows is a windows server um, evaluation version for 180 days I log into my virtual machine and then uh, you can see I've already managed to install Docker so when you receive an error message that Docker uh, is not able to start virtual machine and when you receive this error message when running Docker or installing Docker on or within a virtual machine just remember uh, to enable this nested virtualization so the first time uh, this um, virtual machine is started so keep in mind that docker requires quite a lot of memory so I enabled 16 uh, gigabytes of memory for this virtual machine which I think is quite okay so for docker it uh, takes a couple of mm, seconds minutes so first it took uh, quite a while uh, to get started after i enabled this nested virtualization let's me let's start the uh, and also very important that when installing docker it uh, will enable uh, hyper-v manager during the installation and the whole uh, virtual machine i mean the operating system within that virtual machine uh, excellent so i just received the message Do docker desktop is running so therefore uh, it was really just a couple of um, less than a minute in my opinion but the, the first time after restarting so this could take up to about two or three minutes uh, until docker pre uh, prepares all the virtualization and then for example what is happening that i am within the 
a virtual machine and this is uh, the uh, docker desktop virtual machine that is running within my uh, virtual machine <coughs> another important um, element is that when you want to run uh, this uh, docker um, docker getting started of course uh, you can uh, do that let me show how I did it this was um, settings Okay, so I, I logged in and then <laughs> I'm just thinking where did I get So anyhow, I already installed GitHub and Visual Studio Code. And when you have Visual Studio Code, uh, it is a very useful feature just to install the extension uh, Docker from Microsoft. Yes, 5 million people has already downloaded a Docker extension for Visual Studio code. And then here uh, you have immediately a possibility that uh, the Docker getting started is available. And then start. Okay, it is started and then coming so by default it is started on port 80 at the moment I don't have anything else on my port 80 so when I enter localhost here you go I receive the getting started uh, docker um, container running the getting started docker um, So this is actually uh, it. So again, keep in mind that Docker can be run within a nested virtual machine environment.